What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, just another PokeTuber, coach at the Piedmont Triad Kickers, coming at you this week with another Draft League battle from the RU League. This week, we take on PokeMaster88. He is the coach of the California Trailblazers, and his team consists of... Where did it go? Oh, there it is. His team consists of a Star Raptor, a Palosan, which is his Terra Captain, one of his Terra Captains. Uh, it can tear into ghosts, grass, or water. His next Pokemon is Toxtricity, another Terra Captain. Can tear into electricity, normal, or ice. Then he has the Grafi Eye, Gardevoir, Ludicolo, Polyrath, Decidueye, Hariyama, Glalie, and Lycanroc Midnight. Now that I take another look at this team, I am so glad that uh poly toad was not are you at the time of this um draft starting because sheesh but anyway to combat pokey master's team this week i decided to bring a espion with psy shock psychic shadow ball and calm mind i decided to bring psy shock and psychic because his team there's not a pokemon on his team that i that required me to bring the fairy coverage moves like draining kiss or dazzling gleam over like you know two psychic moves but um for those of you that don't know psy shock even though it is a special move it hits on the physicals it, it calculates the physical defense of the pokemon whenever it does the damage so psy shock and psychic so i can hit on both sides this week um calm mind if i can get to plus two plus three this thing kind of just sweeps its team I don't see that happening, but if that happens, you know, that'd be very nice. I have Orthworm, Assault Vest this week. Um, it's Eevee to where even if his Toxtricity is Specs, this thing is Eevee to always live one hit as long as it's not super effective. Always. Even if it's Overdrive. Always. And that thing would not like an Earthquake. And if I can force the Terra, oh, I would love that. Lycan Rock this week, um, Excel Rock, Stone Edge, Close Combat, Swords Dance. Um, his team doesn't really want Lycan Rock to go like plus four. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Typhlosion. So meant to mention, I have Magic Bounce on Espeon to keep the hazards away. One reason I want to keep the hazards away: Typhlosion, Choice Scarf, Eruption hits its entire team pretty hard. Um. Frostmoth, Terra Captain, where Terra Ghost is weak, Defog, because, well, I do need a hazard clearer, um, Quiver Dance, Terra Blast Ghost, and Ice Beam, because his team, the way, his team doesn't really require me to need Bug Buzz, so Ice Beam and Terra Blast Ghost are just good enough. I would have preferred to be able to have Substitute over Defog, but hey, it is what it is. And then my last Terra Captain is Meloetta, with um, Relic Song, Close Combat, Terra Blast, Dark, and Swords Dance, because, first of all, Meloetta, if it can transform into its other form, it pretty much, uh, it outspeeds its entire team, and if I can get, if I get even one Swords Dance off, yeah, we're gonna have fun. So, without a further ado, let me get to the battle. Good luck, have fun to the homie Pokemaster88. For those of y'all who are in the Discord, yeah, me, you would know, me and him battle a lot. And I kind of owe him for draft because I am, yeah, I don't really have a good draft record against him. So hopefully today that can change. And if it doesn't happen, then hey, Pokemaster, if you're watching this, just know. If I end this, bro, at the end of the day, if I'm 0-3 against you in draft, on my mama, on my hood, on everything that is good, you're not making it to, to 0 and 5, uh, 0 and 4. I'm just like, you know, now, okay? You're my homie, though. You're my homie. But hey, all right, and here it is. And once again, good luck, have fun to the homie Pokemaster. The main thing in this game is if I can get any of my Pokemon to set up. As long as he's not, like, super maxed, like, defense on any of his mons, we should have a good time. So, since this is Pokemaster, 
Oh, goodness. I did not want this song. I really wanted the Nimona 2 song. Well, he'll understand. He'll understand. The top champion. Okay, I see what Gang Free tried to do there. All right, so... Chris brought... A, he brought his Grafi Eye, Polyrath, Poly, uh, not Poly, that's not Poly anything, that's Ludicolo, Gardevoir, Toxtricity, and Decidueye. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys, the reason I brought Terra Dark on Meloetta, if he, if, because something Chris is really, I can say he's infamous for, is running Encore on his Grafi Eye. So if he tries to Encore me into Swords Dance, and I just tear a dark. Yeah, he can't do it because Grafi is prankster, and prankster doesn't work on dark types. So I really hope he tries that. But what does he lead with? If I had to take a guess, he's going to either lead Grafi Eye or lead Decidueye. And what mon do I have that hits both of them relatively well? Um. Well. For safety reasons, I'm going to send in Orthworm because Orthworm, I don't think Orthworm makes like the biggest, like Orthworm can have its day in this battle, but at the same time, it's not going to, I don't really see it being the end all be all in this battle. He has two water types. Uh, I mean, he has Grafi Eye, but I'm pretty sure if he, he'll read the body press. He has a, he has a ghost type. Yeah. Orthorn doesn't really do the most in this battle. Wow. Toxtricity. Off hey, hey, off the rip. Toxtricity. Off the rip is Toxtricity. So let me see. Did I EV this thing the right way? Did I EV Oh wait, we're assault this. So you're always And he's gonna tear it right away. Okay. I was not expecting that. Alright. Let's see what the homie got. Let's see what the homie got. And I forgot to mention, guys, this is the last game before playoffs. The Piedmont Triad kickers are locked into playoffs already. If I'm not mistaken, he has to win this game to uh, lock himself in, too. Or he might already be locked in, because I'm not mistaken. He's actually one of, he's one of the better teams in the league, so I don't see why he wouldn't already be locked in. Okay, so now we're going to go for body press. Does he stay in here? I don't see why he would, and this is Terra Captain. But at the same time... Does he expect me to... Be, well, why wouldn't he expect me to be body pressed? This is Orthworm. One of the highest defenses in the game. Uh, on the physical side, anyway. And, of course, that thing comes out. All right. See, this is... All right. So, what's he got going on here? Decidueye. Okay. Decidueye. Decidueye. You see why I said Orthworm doesn't really do a whole lot in this game? Um... Let me see. What I need to do, what I need to do is get these toxic spikes away. But at the same time, I don't feel like that's going to be something I can do, like, anytime soon. Dang, I wish. I don't, what, what do I do here? Um, question is, how much... Okay, Orthworm is really slow. I can't remember what the actual nature is, but I've chose the nature on this thing that increases its special defense while lowering its speed. So, Heavy Slam... I have been testing this, Orthworm. Heavy Slam does good here and there. Oh, yeah, see? Okay. Oh, they actually did a good little chunk of damage. I'm not gonna lie. Let's, uh... Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Oh, okay. That's not good. Because now Polyrath can come in later on. And he's probably, um, if I had to take a guess, he's, um, he's going to be, uh, crap. That Polyrath's going to be annoying. That Polyrath is going to be annoying. I forgot. That thing does get Swift Swim, doesn't it? Okay. How do we stop Polyrath from tearing us apart? Um... So let me see. Let me see. I'm going to go for body press in case he switches out here. Actually, I'm crazy. I sh Okay, even if I was expecting him to go into polyrap there, I actually should have still heavy slammed because 
Swift Swim would double his speed, which means it would probably still do a good chunk of damage. I'm pretty sure that's what comes in next is Polyrath. Oh, and here comes the Polyrath. Okay, so how do I stop the carnage? Actually, hold up. I already have an answer to this. I just thought about something. Whenever I switch in Espeon the first time, it's not going to, um... Espeon is going to, uh, but dang. I'm trying to think, though. Do I show my hand? Because Chris knows me well enough to know that I will run a, um, Focus Sash Espeon. So here's the thing. If I go into Espeon right now, he knows it's probably Focus Sash. And if I don't go into Espeon, that's the only way I make, I got to do it. That's the only way I make these uh, toxic turns go away. Not toxic turns, the rain dance turns. Because even though I'm poisoned, I don't take damage because the first turn I got, I've been poisoned. Now, yeah, because I don't think, yeah, because nothing on this team can make this, yeah, nothing on this team wants to take this. Yeah, 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 there we go. See, 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 see. All right. He knows me. <laughs> he knows me a little too well. Now, here's the problem I got to deal with. Is... Okay, what move do you use here? Oh, I outspeed you. Hold up. Because this thing doesn't get priority moves, does it? Let me see. Because whenever Polyrath, like... Whenever I can get that thing to, like, you know not come back we're gucci we're good we're golden hmm what do i do here what do i do here what do i do here i kind of want to keep espion around for like later on in the game um truth be told liking rock is not as Locking Rock can come in handy, but at the same time, it's not as useful as Espeon can be. Especially for that Polyrath. So he goes for, I'm assuming, I don't even know. What would he go for? U-turn. Oh wait, he used that earlier. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is his fifth turn of rain. So, alright. We got to figure something out for this thing because, bro, the real question is against, oh, that thing wasn't, um, whatchamacallit, um, Damp Rock? Interesting. Well, we are about to find something out right here. If you're Choice Scarf, I'm going to really know. Unless this thing gets Aqua Jet, which I know it shouldn't. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. Got that nice chip on the polyrath. Lycan Rock goes down here. Granny's he's about to drain punch. Yeah, drain punch. But I'm pretty sure this thing is still within range of Espeon just taking it out. Because if he sends in Decidueye right here, then I'm just going to... Yeah, this is actually pretty good right here. This is pretty good. I'm not... I'm, uh, okay, this, is, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. So, okay, Psychic. So, what does he go in now? What does he go into now? Oh, you know what? I think he might think that I'm choice. Hold up. Okay, so we're going to Psychic right here. I'm. Ch uh, does Shadow Ball kill this thing from here? Um... I really wonder, does Shadow Ball kill? Does Shadow Ball kill? Does Shadow Ball kill? Uh, crap. Does Shadow Ball kill? Does Shadow Ball kill? Let me... Ah, uh, crap. I really wish I knew the answer to this. Because I don't... Because, uh, I'd rather keep Espeon a lot. Like, Espeon over... T well, actually, at this point, do I really... Do I prefer Espeon over freaking Typhlosion? Actually, yes, I would prefer Espeon over Typhlosion. Uh, this is a tough one. Um, I wish I could calc as fast as, like, guys like, I don't know, Scorpion or Emerald. Um, okay, based on calcs, this does 60 to 70. So, it might be in range. It might be in range. Oh, my goodness. This thing is, like, super spadef. 
This thing is super spadev. Wait, you're super spadev. Hold up. Psyshock. Psyshock might get the kill here. Psyshock might get the kill here. Psyshock might get the kill here. Hold up. 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 Psyshock might do it. Psyshock might do it. This is the reason I brought this move. This might be the one. What did I say? Okay. Espeon took down the Decidui. I'm assuming that he might have thought I was going to switch out for real, though. So I'm not going to even... The default. I mean, I... I mean, I've been switching out every time he sends it in. So, I mean, he probably just didn't think I would do it this time. Okay. Magic bounce. Well, not that it really matters in this particular situation. But something I like about this matchup right here, as long as this thing isn't like... Oh, you're choice scarfed. Okay, you're choice scarfed. Interesting. So now I'm wondering something. What's faster, a Typhlosion or, or a, um, a Typhlosion or a uh, a Typhlosion or an S or a Gardevoir? So Typhlosion has base 100 speed and Gardevoir has base Gardevoir has base 80. But we're mo okay. But we're uh we're modest. Is that are we still faster? Like if he has a so let me see 299. Timid. Yeah, we're still faster than a um we're still faster than a um what do you call this thing? A timid uh Gardevoir. So Wait, what the hell? Oh, I forgot. Defog makes the spikes go away. Hold up. Did he really just do that? Does his team resist eruption? No, I mean, well, he has polyrath, but that thing doesn't want to take any eruption to the face. Okay. You put the ball back in my court. Not even going to lie. Now, the... <sighs> I got to think on what I want to do here, though. I probably should have used Flamethrower instead. Not even going to lie. We're down to three. He still has his Toxtricity... Gardevoir and Polyrath. So, um, uh, sheesh. I'm gonna just keep clicking the eruption. I'm gonna just keep clicking eruption. Um, I probably should have switched into. Oh, he sends this thing in. Wait. So, what's he about to do then? What is this thing? I mean... Oh, you dirty... <laughs> he got me. He got me with that one. I'm not even going to lie to you. He got me with that one. Um... Let me see something. Let me try something. Let me try something. Now, here's the question of the century, though. Is he... Crap, how do we win this? Because I don't think my team wants... Because the issue is... Wait, what? He's sending this thing in? Why? What does it do to me that... You know what? I'm just going to click this button. Because I think he... I think I have an idea of what he's about to do. That. Do we live? Because Meloetta has pretty nice spadef. Has pretty good spadef. Not even gonna lie. Um, I'm trying to think. What is the smartest thing for me to do here? Because I could let Meloetta go down and let Frostmoth come in just so I can tear a ghost and win. Or, because here's the thing. <sighs> crap. Crap, crap, crappity, crap, crap, crap. 
I'm just gonna hit him with a close combat because last I checked, he's not Scar. Otherwise, why would you set Toxic Spice in the beginning? All right, so this takes a turn away from the ring. The question of the century, though, is Grafai I damp rock the whole time? And this is just like something he kept in the back just so I wouldn't, or yeah, we're about to find out. Because listen, if that thing is damp rock, so there's not really much we can do. Frostmoth hates visit. Frostmoth hates physical damage. It hates it. It's just I don't know if he would go for a water move, or if he would go for drain punch. If he goes for drain liquidation, that sucks. Really bad. That sucks really, really bad. That sucks, like, st stupendously bad. There's, like, literally nothing we can do. Because, yeah, there's just nothing we can do. Wait, so is he... So that thing was... Yeah. Bro, really? Dang, this kind of stinks. We're gonna... Yeah, there's not really much we can do to win. There's not really much we can do to win. Yeah, there's really not much we can do to win. Like... I really wish I sent Frostmoth out in front of Gardevoir instead. Because had I sent Frostmoth out in front of Gardevoir, I could have potentially started to Quiver Dance. And I could have gotten up to a point where... Um, even in the rank now, granted, I would be like plus, probably plus six if I'm being honest. But I could have gotten to a point where we actually, huh? Okay. He probably thought that I would quiver dance there. Because something Chris is really good for is, well trying to encore you with a god dang uh, Grafii. So the issue right here is we can't really... Well, how much time is left? It's only one turn left of rain. So what I'm hearing is if we don't kill this thing, and of course he's going to encore me just to... Uh, that was a crappy situation from the beginning. Nothing I could do about that one. Because now he's about to just... Uh, this stinks. This really stinks. I actually... I'm not going to lie. Grafai Eye is one of the Pokemon I really don't like. This really stinks. There's not really much we can do about this. Because he's going to... Yeah, Rain Dance. And we don't take a hit from Polyrath. Especially not a Liquidation in the Rain. Maybe I should have... Uh... uh, crap. I hate this thing so much I mean he kind of had I mean he's kind of crap 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 not really much we can yeah we're about to just die this stinks I really wanted to win this dang this stinks hey but GG to the homie Chris though dang this stinks like, the only way we win now is if this is, like, a super crit. And when I say a super crit, I mean, like, a... Yeah, they didn't even do... They didn't do Jiggly Squat. They didn't do Jiggly Squat. Um, yeah, we just lost. GG, Chris. Now I'm 0-3 against this man in draft. So I hope he knows that, like, bro, I'm not... Like, next time we meet in draft, like, I refuse to lose. But I'm gonna go down swinging, though. I'm gonna go down swinging. Goodness, I really wanted to win this. GG to the homie Chris. And thank you everybody for tuning in. And that will conclude our um, regular season in the RU Draft. We finished the season 5-2 and, and we're just waiting for playoffs. Thank you guys for tuning in.